Hello and welcome to another in this tutorial. There are situations where using the setup wizard is not ideal for you. For this reason, today we show you how to set up an internet over ethernet connection on an iComOS device without the help of the startup wizard. To do this, you will need internet connection and you need to know your gateway address. Open a browser and log into your router with its IP address, username and password. In this example, we are using an MRO L200 router. Click on the Interfaces menu. You see every Ethernet port listed here and how they are assigned to the five available IP networks or interfaces. In this video, we configure port 5 with Net5 for internet connection, but you may select any other available interface or port. Select Net5 next to port 1.5 in the assignment column, save, then click on IPNet5 in the Interfaces menu. This is where you configure your network interface. As mode, select Ethernet. In this mode, the interface will only be started if a WAN chain is started in which it is contained. We will configure this in the next step. If you want the interface to dynamically receive an IP address from a DHCP server, activate Start DHCP version 4 client. Click on the plus symbol under Static IP Addresses. Type in your IP address and NetMask. Make sure you activate the network before clicking on Save Settings. To start the interface, we need a new WAN chain. If you already have one, you just have to add a newly configured interface to it. Click on the plus symbol next to Add WAN Chain. Then, on the plus symbol under Interfaces in WAN Chain. By clicking on the pencil icon, you can start editing it. Select Net5 as the interface and save your settings. Our connection will need a default route or gateway to establish an internet connection. A default gateway allows computers on a network to communicate with computers on another network. Ask your network administrator about your gateway address. Click on the plus symbol, then on the pencil icon. Select Net5 next to Set After Start Off and Default Route as Type of the Route. In our example, we set up a static gateway address, but if your interface is a DHCP client, you receive this address dynamically. Click on Save Settings. In order to establish an internet connection, your interface's IP address needs to be masqueraded. Under Menu Net Filter, select Net. Click on the plus symbol under SourceNet then on the pencil icon. Select Masquerade as Type and Net5 as Output Interface. We will also mask our local interface's IP. In this case, our computer is connected to Net1. In your setting, this might be a different interface. Save the settings. Our internet connection will also need a domain name server or DNS. You find this option under Services. In our example, we use Google's public DNS address 8.8.8.8. .8 if your interface is a DHCP client, leave these fields empty as it will receive them automatically. We now configure our firewall. You only need these following steps if your firewall is active. In case it is not, click on Activate Profile in the upper left corner and your internet connection should be up and running. However, if your IP filter is active, you will need to add several rules to it to be able to successfully establish an internet connection. We will need DNS rules for the local and the WAN interface. In case you're in a DHCP client mode, the DHCP request rules are also configured here and we will have to allow communication from the local network to the internet. Let's configure that first. Click on the plus symbol, then on the pencil icon. For packet direction, choose forward. The input interface is over which the packet reaches the router, meaning if your computer is plugged into port 1 using NAT1, then this is where your router receives your packets from the computer. We select NAT1 in our example. The output interface is the interface over which the packet leaves the router. In this tutorial, we set up NAT5 to establish internet connection, so we select NAT5. Click on Save Settings. Next, we configure the firewall rules necessary for the DNS service. Our computer on Net1 will send DNS messages to the router, so we need two input rules. For the first one, the protocol is UDP 
and the destination port is 53, while in the second rule it is TCP protocol with destination port 53. The WAN interface for us, NAT5, also needs to be able to send DNS messages. We need two firewall rules for this, but in this case two output rules as they are outgoing rules to a different gateway. You may optionally add another output rule for time synchronization. This would be UDP port 123 for the WAN interface. If you're in DACP client mode, add an extra output rule using UDP port 67 and NAT5 or your wished WAN interface. As a final step, click on Activate Profile in the upper left corner. This overtakes and activates every setting that we've created in the last few minutes. Your internet connection should be up and running. What did we configure today? We changed the IP address of the interface, put it in a WAN chain and masked its IP address using a NAT rule. We also configured a static gateway address for the interface, gave the router a DNS address and last we configured the firewall. Thank you for watching.